what he says. It's Friday night. Come on, work's finished. Let's go to the pub, a bleak wine bar. Anyone heard of this phenomenon? Yeah, even if you don't drink, we don't drink anymore, or if your religion forbids you from drinking, or whatever it is, you've certainly heard about this, have you? You're familiar with this. I mean, if you live in England or you spend any time here, it's certainly a common phenomenon. So, what happens is, initially when you're presented with, come to the pub, bar, whatever, your controlling parent will immediately say to you, do not do this. Go home, go to bed early, drink lots of water, wake up the next day, do 2,000 press-ups, you know, and, and that's it. So the controlling parent is, is not having any of it. But you kind of push past it, you ignore it, you're in the pub, you have your first whatever it is, and the controlling parent disappears and you go, oh, thank God for that, and of course he's gone. But the nurturing parent is still on board saying, well, you know, you can't want to do it, you know how last week you did it, and you felt so awful, so here's maybe one or two of a little. Anyway, but sometimes you sort of have a bit more to drink, and before you know it, the Actually, the whole parent disappears, and now things have become a bit looser, and you're left with the adult. Fortunately, the adult is still on board at this time. And the adult is giving you choices, what could I do, I could do this, or I could do that. But there are times when people say, it's a celebration, it's a wedding, it's a party, someone's leaving, it's the time to go for it. Have you ever come across that sort of experience? This is special, it's not like a normal day. So you push the boat out and have those extra few drinks, and then the adult disappears, and now you're left with a child. Now, I don't know if you've come across it, but in those times, you meet some people, and they've had a few drinks, and they're the life and soul of the party. They're charming, they're so kind of elegant, and just, they're, they're, you know, you suddenly think, what a nice person, I had no idea. She comes and you, and a few drinks, cheer them up, that's a good thing. But then you meet other people when they've had a few drinks, and suddenly they change, and they're different. And they become strange, and unpleasant, and weird, and you think, oh my god, what happened to them? We come across that too? Yeah, so yeah, that's usually the ones who've been practicing a bit. And, um, that's why kind. and then, if I want to make a slightly unkind joke about people, as you head further north in Europe, you'll find in various countries, such as Scotland and etc., that people continue the drinking until <laughs> those lights are on and no one's home. <laughs> until the next morning when they wake up and everything's back. Ah! And at that moment, the controlling parent said, What did you do last night? What did you say? And the child went, Oh my God, what have I done? I've made a fool of myself. Yes, do you remember anything? I remember nothing. See, you put yourself, you put us at risk. How dare you? How shameful. I'm going to make you suffer. Don't make me suffer. Please, no. Yes, you're going to pay, you're going to pay, you're going to suffer. You're going to pop your head, you're going to be throbbing. No, no, please. No. Anyway, and this goes on for some time until people say, in all sincerity, I'll never do it again. That's it. Some of it. Never again in my life will I touch a drop of it. Until the following Friday night, when suddenly all this is forgotten and it all starts again. Is this true? Anyway, so that's a little description of 